Hey, Jitsuqua, welcome back to episode of Is It Worth It? So the episode, we got this cool image remember here, and basically what this is, is an electric scooter. And for the one that we got right here, it's a brand called Maker Wheels. So let me actually open up to show you guys what the inside looks like first. All right, so once you guys open up, this actually looks like inside. So you definitely see the scooter inside, and I use the manual, but let's take it out first. All right, so see once you guys take it out, this is what the product looks like. So right here is a user manual to teach you guys how to use it. And right here, they probably got the accessory. So let's take all that out first. So the first bag, they probably got the charging cable that you're going to use to recharge the electric scooter. And they also probably got some tool that you can probably like loosen up like the wheels or something for different parts to actually replace it or something. And then for the second bag that we have right here is probably like the handle option. So let's take it out. So once you guys take it out, this is what the handle part looks like. But when you guys feel the handle, it definitely has a pretty good grip on here. So that way when you guys are riding it, it won't slip off as easy. So that is what's in the second bag. Right here, we do have the electric scooter. So let's take off the wrappers and everything else first. All right, so once you guys take out the protection layer, this is what the electric scooter looks like. So we need to screw on the wheels by ourselves and we need to screw on the handle as well. All right, so once you guys take it out, then put the wheels inside. Once you guys got the wheel on, you guys unscrew it back on. All right, so once you guys finish that, you guys can put the cover back on. So one right here and one on the other side. And right here, you can see we do have a kickstand option. So let's push it down. That way it'll hold it there and you guys don't have to hold it. And what we'll do next is set up the handle. So when you guys set it up, this side is left and this side is right because this is the back part and this is front. So you just want to screw it in. And then here is the right. And then once you guys finish that, then you guys can start using it. But I'm actually open this up to show you guys how it actually works and everything before I actually fully test it out. So I'm gonna take off all the wrappers on here first to give you guys a better point of view of the product. All right, so we just took off the wrapper. Let me actually be a little bit closer to show you guys how to actually use it. So if you guys wanna bring up the scooter, it's actually very easy. All you need to do is just go like this and just raise it all the way up. And you basically want to lock this part right here. And then once you guys fully set it up, this is what the electric scooter looks like. So in the bottom part, we do have like the non-slip material. So once you guys go on top, it won't slip. And the way how to design the bottom part, you can see it's actually pretty big. So if you put like both feet on here, you definitely can. So just like this. And they mentioned the maximum capacity on here is around like 260 pounds. So as long as you guys are under that weight limit, then you guys should be fine. But right here is where you guys want to lock the handle. Back part, we do have the brake light. In terms of the wheels that we got right here, both of them are around like eight inches. In terms of the material that they have right here, it definitely feels like a high quality like metal or steel kind of like material. Bottom part right here, we do have the little lock, so that way it's open up and hold it in place. So that way the scooter won't fall off when you guys do set up, which is kind of nice. And if you guys notice on top part right here, we do have this option for it to hang like your bags or whatever when you guys do actually use it. So that way, if you guys want to do like grocery shopping or something, you guys can definitely hang it right here and just go back home really easily. And then for the top part, we do have two options. So we have a left option and right option. And we do have a few buttons on here as well. So I'm actually bring the camera a little bit closer to show you guys what she looks like. So here's what the top part looks like. Right here, we do have the power button and the bolt button. And then right here is the display screen. So if you guys turn it on, This is what the screen looks like. So I'll show you guys the battery life, the different mode, and the speed level on here, or in terms of the speed that it's going. So right now it's at zero, and right now it's three out of four batteries, so it's not fully charged yet. If you guys double tap on the power button, let me show you what happens. So that turns on the light. You can see it's actually pretty bright. So that way, when you guys are using a dark setting, you can see everything all around. And then if you guys want to turn it off, you guys want to double tap it, and that will turn it off. If you guys press on the mode button, let's see what happens. So basically when you guys see the letter S is white, that means it's on the lowest speed level, which is around like 10 kilometers per hour. If you guys press it again, it changes to yellow, and that is the next speed level. And you press it one more time, it'll change to red, and that means it's on the highest speed level on here. If you guys ever forget, the information is on the user menu right here. And it's really important to remember that every time once you guys been using it, you guys are turn it off like this. And obviously when you guys use it, you don't want to use it indoor. You guys want to use it somewhere that's outdoor. 
so that way it won't scratch or damage the flooring as well. And supposedly the way how they designed their product, it has a front brake and a rear brake. And the wheels that they use on here has a really good traction, so that way you can use it in a wet setting or like dry setting, it doesn't really matter. But this is what the overall scooter looks like once you guys do set it up and take it out. Let me actually fold it back together to show you guys what it actually looks like in terms of how to actually fold it back up. All right, so the way how you guys put it away is actually very simple. All you need to do is push up this part right here on the side and then release it and then push it back down like this way and lock it back in place. Then it's all set. And then once you guys are ready to take it out again, you can take it out like this. You just use your feet, push it all the way up, lock it in place and it's all set. And you do have the option to manually turn right here if you guys want to. So on the scooter, they have two options on top. They have one for acceleration and one for brake. This is electrical brake. And right here, we do have the manual brake. So it is recommended that when you guys do use it, you probably want to use this brake and also this manual option as well. So that way you can prolong the life of the brake. So before I actually go test this out, let me just plug in the cable to show you guys how to recharge it first. So the way how you guys recharge it is by plugging in the bottom right here. But I'm just plugging the wall outlet first. So the cable is not long enough, so I need to pull it over. So we just want to open up the bottom part right here. And then I'm plugging the cable on the bottom right here. Once you guys do that, you guys can see the actual light right here will show you guys that it's charging or not. So right now it's red, so it's not fully charged yet. So I'm assuming once it's fully charged, that light should turn green. But I'm just bringing the camera a little bit closer to show you guys what I'm talking about. So here is where you guys will plug in the cable in the bottom. And then here is the cable that's been plugged in. Let me see it's red right now. And then once it's fully charged, it should change to green. So I'm going to fully charged first and we'll test it out for a ride to see how she works. And also, if you guys are curious about how long you guys can use this for, it should last you guys around like 12 to 17 miles, depending on what speed you guys are using. If you guys use it in the lowest speed, then probably give you guys around like 17 miles. But if you guys are using it in the max speed, you guys will probably get around like 12. And they mentioned the time that probably take you guys to fully charge it from zero to 100 is around like two to three hours. But this is what the product looks like when you guys do set it up. Let's go test it out to see how it works and what it works first. And then we'll come back and talk more product in a second. All right, so here we have the scooter. Let's test it out to see how it works. So for this ride, I'm just going to backpack right here. And we're going to test it out on speed level 1. I'm going to turn on the light as well. So there's a light. I can't really see it because it's kind of bright right now. So when you guys first use it, you have to do a quick start. So just like this. So this is speed level 1. Let's turn it on to speed level 2. So speed level 2 is yellow. Now let's try on speed level 3. So level 3 is red. I went to around like 20 km per hour. I feel like it goes a bit higher because they mentioned it goes to like 25, but definitely goes pretty fast on here. And when you guys use the brick, it actually feels pretty nice, both right here and right here as well. We do have those two options, like I mentioned. Let me actually test out one more time.
brick when you guys use it, it actually is really smooth when you guys are going down. All right, so we just came back from a quick little ride on actual electric scooter and actually feels pretty good. Everything from the grip for the handle part, the bottom part, and also the traction on the wheels, it feels super nice. So that is everything that's on the product. Now the unboxing and testing product. Now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for this product, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want one need one of these, especially if you guys are trying to look for a high quality electric scooter that has the same design that's on here, where it give you guys a very good grip, good power, enough space in the bottom for you guys to put your feet on, and give you guys a little hook option right here to hang your bags if you guys want to. So maybe if you guys want to do like grocery shopping or something, you can definitely put that on here, which is really convenient. Because not a lot of electric scooters give you guys that option. And also really cool how the product give you guys an electric brake option, and also manual brake option as well. So if you guys want all of that and so much more that I mentioned on here, then I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or having one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you really do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.